All right, guys, today we're working on a 2016 Chevy Trax. Uh, it's one bought at the auction. We're gonna put it back together. Um, get hit down the left side, driver's side. So let me show you what we're working on. How oh, it's up on the hoist right now. Here's some of the parts, fender. We got a hood, it got hit down this uh, driver's side, left side. Just got done putting a new, let me get some light here. Put a new axle shaft. Uh, lower control arm Yeah, lower control arm was busted right off you can see There's Part of it New axle shaft rim tires popped spare tire But when they popped the axle shaft we lost a lot of transmission fluid I don't know how long it's been sitting or whatever. So we're just gonna change Change what we can right now. No sense in adding old to new Right here is your drain. We're on the passenger side. Yours is gonna have all these plastic shields under it. Um, mine are all broke, so you got a shield that kind of comes across, the engine shield, the splash shield. Um, the couple push pins, <clears throat> a couple seven millimeter screws, get the shield down. But anyway, here's your transmission. There's no dipstick on these, so makes it real convenient right but yeah here's your uh, drain it's uh, 11 millimeter I drained it already it's pretty black very black it's like not good black um, let that drip for a little while then your fill plug still on the driver's side directly right behind it up towards the ACV shaft there's a, another plug, so that's gonna be your fill. I'm hoping there's gotta be a cap up top somewhere. So we're gonna put our drain back in, pull this, and then just keep putting our um, transmission fluid until it comes out the fill hole right here. So that means it's full when it comes out this plug back here. So you got drain and a fill. I believe they're both 11s. There should be, we're gonna go up top here and find the actual cap to drop or dump the fluid, transmission fluid in. So we'll go up top and find that in just a second. Okay, here I'm gonna show you how to get that um, fill plug out. It is 11 millimeter too. Kind of tough to get a socket on there. Not a lot of room. So yeah, you get the idea. I just got a box end. I don't know if I got a, my ratcheting one would be a little easier, but I didn't think it was that long. So you get the idea. Pull that, and then as soon as fluid starts coming out of this one, then we're full. So I'm gonna pause you for a second and get this out, and then. Start filling it. <clears throat> All right, little change. The open end wasn't going fast enough, so you can get an extension. Get a little extension and your 11 millimeter socket, and you can get it out pretty easy. So just go through right underneath the CV shaft, hit that plug, and then yeah, and go a little quicker with this versus the box end. All right. Here's the fill plug right there. So now we're gonna go up top and see if we can find oops, a cap or something. I hope there's gotta be to fill it. So, all right. And yes, there's a cap up top right behind this real, the big giant. Uh, that's a turbo. Was that intercooler hose? What is that? Is that radiator hose? That's the intercooler hose. Right behind that, you can see it. So mine's dirty and black. Let me move this out of the way. Right underneath that. Can you see it? Right there it is. So, got some 
chipmunk marks down there, scooped acorns or something it looks like. But right there is the the fill cap. Just unscrews, and we're gonna get a long funnel and get some of our synthetic fluid in it. I'll show you what I'm using here. <clears throat> oh, this is all we're using, it's just a full synthetic um, Dextron 6. Is all the tracks takes, so nothing crazy special. So any Dextron um, 6 fluid will work. So we're gonna get a long funnel and start filling her up. All right, there's a dirty old cap. There's a little O-ring on it. Sorry about the sound, but I'm sick. But not feeling good today. Actually, last few days. But there's the cap. We'll put that there. We got our funnel in. Down to the hole. We're going to slowly pour it in. So, yeah, we're just pouring it in slow. This is a gallon jug so four quarts oh shoot better pay attention all right all right as you can see underneath here started coming clean fluid and i dropped some didn't get down here fast enough started coming out of the plug so we're gonna tighten that up and that's full okay now what i would do is actually Start it up, start the car up, just put it in drive and reverse. You ain't got to really move it. Just put it in, you know, gear just for a couple seconds. Get that fluid, make sure it's all, you know, full. And then you can check that, pull that plug again and make sure that it's full. So we're going to do that right now. Let's start her up real quick and just cycle it through the gears. All right, <clears throat> that should be good. Now we'll go down and check it again. <clears throat> so we should probably let it warm up. It's still kind of cold. Let it warm up just a little bit. And then uh, check it because, you know, transmission fluid does expand. So we're going to let it run for, I don't know, five minutes or so. Let it get a little warmer. All right. Kind of looks like we need to wash your tank. Oh. All right, this new upper core support. Man, that's not bad, though, is it? That little bracket. Door. To fix it, finish it, probably buy a new door. Yeah, easier to buy a new one than try to fix that and repaint it. But other than that, it's not horrible. I mean, got a cover, I got the grills, all that stuff in the bottom. We have to figure out what we need there. Need a headlight, but it's been running for about five minutes. We're gonna go shut it off and see what, what it looks like. All right, let's check it now and see what we got. See that plug? Oh, see, she's a little low. We have to add a little more. See? After running it for a minute, still a little low. To add a little more. <clears throat> All right, we uh, started it up. 
it was a little low refilled it and tightened the plug took right about four quarts i mean real real close i might have lost a quarter of a quart or so but three and a half close to four quarts so <clears throat> yeah that's it <clears throat> you guys got any questions comment like subscribe get some more videos going all right well thanks guys this should be the same as the Buick Encore. Um, I don't even know what else they use this little platform for. Tracks, Encore, not sure what else, but should be the same. So, anything, and probably non turbo also. I'm not 100% sure, but you might want to check the 1.4 turbo or non turbo So, all right, well, thanks.